This week's topic of Amuna Mondays was the concept of it's not all or nothing. People think that it's all normal and it's fine that they have it in their head that everything's just, it's either I'm going to do it all fully or I'm not going to do it all. Or, and like, that's, that's not a good concept to have in your head because why do we judge ourselves harder than God judges us? And we can learn that from the fact that this week's Parsha is Vayachi. And in this week's Parsha, Esau was actually killed. And his head was buried with the greatest of the greats. Like Adam, Eve, uh, Avram, Yitzchak, Yaakov. All of them are all buried in that one place. And Esau's head is buried there as well. And it states that a Russia cannot be buried with a Tzadik. So how in the world was his head allowed to be buried in there? And so that, there's a lot of lessons to be learned from that. And on that top of that, it's the fact that the head didn't, wasn't just buried in. It's not like nobody, nobody picked up the head and walked it into the, into the burial. It actually it rolled, it rolled there, which clearly shows that Hashem was taking control of the scenario. So there's plenty of lessons to dive into and determine why, why was his head qualified to be buried with such great people. And it, it's a, tough concept to wrap your head around being that the world does not operate like that at least like society but the fact is Hashem operates like this and it's the fact that Hashem is able to separate the two that yes Esau is brought down as one of the biggest Russias in the entire Torah but yet from the head up he was considered a tzaddik and that was because he had covered he always he like spoke uh pleasantly to his like what was it what's the Hebrew term it's like covered for the parents and because of that, from the head up, he was considered a tzaddik. So we think, how is that possible? Like, he can be a rapist, killer, all these things. Yet, it's like those things should counteract the, the positive. But that's not how Hashem works. Hashem separates the two. When you do good, you're getting credit for the good. Even though if right after, God forbid, you did something negative. And... That's a tough concept for us because we always think like, oh, it doesn't, you, this doesn't outweigh that. There's not, it's not really a weight system when it comes to those things because Hashem is calculating them individually. So it can weigh 10 pounds that doesn't outweigh the five pounds because it's on a whole different scale. So it's not pulling one down and not pulling one up. So it's, it's a really cool concept to have. And yet people don't have that. They're extremely hard on themselves to the point where they're harder on themselves than Hashem is on them. Because Hashem is forgiving, Hashem's there for you, He understands the whole, the whole aspect of struggle, but yet we'll hold ourselves back for something we did years ago, or stuck on something that happened years ago. But it's not all or nothing. It's the concept of, do the best you can, because you're getting credit for every ounce of things you do, and that goes both ways. And the fact that Hashem took control of the head and actually rolled it all the way into Mashal Bela shows that... Hashem is taking care of it, and Hashem is judging, not people, not the rabbi, not the best friend, not the parents. That's They can judge all they want, but the fact is, at the end of the day, why not get it from the source? And we clearly see how Hashem runs things with the case of Esau. And that's just something that, that we dove into because of the fact that people lack, like, like what drives people to steer away from, from faith in God and trust in God is the fact that they don't believe that they deserve they don't des they don't feel like they deserve the aspect of Hashem helping them or, or the help they need or the financials or anything. They just don't feel it because they're holding themselves on, on this really tight leash of oh I messed up then so Hashem doesn't owe it to Hashem won't give this to me. Hashem to like why why would Hashem do this for me? Why would he do this for that? That's not how Hashem operates. Hashem's not operating like that, but somehow down the road our minds comprehended this aspect of it's all or nothing. But that's not the case and we see that even growing up it's like middle school where it's like oh i have to get this a i have to get an a i have to get an a and like you're punished or you're looked down upon if you get a c but realistically speaking now that you're sitting now it's like sitting in college your middle grade your middle school grade of a c really has little to absolutely no weight whatsoever but in that moment we felt like it's the whole world and that just shows like Hashem has that vision. Hashem has that picture of the bigger one. So now if why not operate and live your life based on the way that he's operating? 
And if we see that he operates in the way that everything is separated, why not separate everything? Every single day is a brand new day. It doesn't matter if you did something yesterday, you know, you're waking up and it's really, it's a really cool concept that when you wake up, we wash Nitilat Yadayim. If you wash our hands, it's a cleansing process. And why? It's because our our soul left our body. And when we come back in, we have to re-clean it. It's like a cleansing process because we actually, it's like, it's considered as if we died. The soul left the body. And now we have to cleanse it back because it's not pure. And if that's the case, then why would it not work the same way that everybody, when you wake up the next day, it's like, a, it's a new you. It's a brand new day. It's as if you're starting fresh. Hashem decided, you know what, even after what you did yesterday, you're still granted life in this world. And boom, so why carry on the day with like, oh, what I did yesterday, when obviously Hashem acknowledged what you did yesterday, and yet He still chose to wake you up. And it's a really cool concept of just like every single day is a brand new day, literally a brand new day, and you're a whole new person. And what happened yesterday does not have to dictate or doesn't matter at all of what's happening today. And... Yeah, so that was like the topic to like just again bring people closer to the fact of trusting and and believing in God to the point of he's he wants what's best for you and he's on your team. So like once you put him on your team, you're on a winning team. Don't you don't really want to go against God. And yeah, we have moments where we go against him, but at the end of the day, he's right there understanding everything that we're going through and he's right there waiting for us to just come back to him. So I hope you have a great week.